Welcome to Talking Trash, and today we're going to talk a little bit more about incandescent versus compact fluorescent bulbs. We've determined in lots of different ways through meters, and you remember riding the bicycle, that the compact fluorescent bulb uses a lot less energy than the incandescent bulb. That's a great thing. So how many people, raise your hands, how many people have these in their homes? I hope you do. Now I've had a lot of questions lately. Well, mine don't last very long. How come? Can I give you a little hint when you're buying compact fluorescent bulbs? Make sure that they have the Ener Energy Star logo on the outside of the package. That'll ensure that it will last as long as it's supposed to. Sometimes the off-brands don't quite work as well or don't last quite as long as you think they should. So try that little tip. Then, I've had a lot of questions and a lot of people concerned about, but I heard these are dangerous. They've got mercury in them. They do have mercury in them. The mercury in them is, is very minute, but if these are broken, they, if, and let's see if you broke one, it, it won't be hazardous to you if you can clear the room for just a, a few minutes. But if you broke a whole box of them, you definitely want to do something to get out of the room and call the Minnesota duty officer. I'm sure that's not gonna be a problem for you because we have a way to, for you to get rid of these before you have a whole box of them. So let's say if you have one of these bulbs and they do break, it's probably not gonna happen if they do break. What you do is you make sure you get your gloves on. You need to have gloves on. You need to have the, the proper personal protective equipment or PPE. And so whether you have these kind of gloves, they're a little bit thinner. We have some heavier duty. These look more like what people have at home. You wanna make sure you get the little pieces of glass cleaned up. And I'm actually, I have some on the floor here. So what you want to do is you want to pick up the glass, get as much as you can, and before you even do this, you want to clear the room for about 15 minutes. So you can just open the windows, clear the room, and just get, if there is mercury vapor in there, clear it out. You want to, you want to get it out of the way. So once you've done that, you want to see if you can get this in the pile. If there's still some dust, I'm gonna grab some duct tape. I love duct tape, but you can use any kind of tape. And what you wanna do is get tape, and you wanna pick the little pieces up that you can't, can't get the powder and that kind of thing. And let's see now if we can sweep the rest of it up. If we can't, we'll get, see now I got duct tape sticking to my gloves. <laughs> so we'll get this swept up. And one way to ensure that they don't break is put them in their packaging when you, when you get done with them and, they've, and they've, you, at the end of their life, you wanna put them in their own packaging, such as this. You wanna make sure you put them in a box. Here, I guess, guess I could get that broom out of my face. Or you wanna put, put them in their original packaging, such as this. If you don't have that, let's say you lost the box, which is usually the way I do it. You want to take a newspaper, great way to do it. And you want to take the bulb, this is a fluorescent bulb, but it's, the, it's actually a kind of a new kind that looks like a regular bulb, but it has, it has this on the inside of it. So what you do is you take the bulb, you wrap it in newspaper, and this is the kind of a precursor to, to breaking it. So you put it in a baggie, and you take it to your local transfer station or landfill or hazardous waste facility, just call your local solid waste office and, and they'll help you out, tell you what to do with it. So make sure you put it in a baggie. If you're gonna transport it, put it in your trunk and make sure there's not things rolling around and bang, banging around in it and that'll be safe. So good luck, treat your bulbs with care and conserve energy.